Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, really different setup, very chill setup. I'm actually filming this on my phone, which is very different. Just had a shower, um, had a really slow morning, slept in, did some yoga. Um, I have just like an ortho appointment for my Invisalign today. It's a very chill day, but I want to sit down and do a little bit of a get ready with me um, since I love filming this. And this is like a real time get ready with me because I'm filming it literally from my phone, so it's not some crazy setup. So I just wanted to try doing something a bit different, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. So I have my skincare done. I did my moisturizer, I have a face oil, just because um, I've been having lots of dry texture for my acne, so I find face oil and like hyaluronic acid, all that stuff is really good to just give a good plump, like hydrated base. I've been using this um, tinted moisturizer, this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. And going into the fall, I like a little bit more coverage. So I've been just taking this to like even out my base a bit and then I do my concealer and then I need less of the concealer. Um, anyways, there's the foundation. I would say it's just like a nice light whip texture. I've been using it for like about a week now. I usually just kind of take it with my finger, spread it on quickly, and then I just take the sponge and like pounce in my skin. And that just kind of evens it out a bit. I must say, like, marketing works. I saw this um, on my Instagram ad and stuff like that. And, like, Hailey Bieber also works with Bare Minerals, so I saw her using that. So I was just like, when I went to the store right away, I'm like, oh, I'm going to try this one. I went in with my Kosas concealer, which I'm almost out of. So when the Sephora sale happens, I'll definitely need to pick up another one. Definitely check out my last video if you want more details on how I cover my acne. I did a whole... Um, video on it um that may be helpful if you struggle with more acne or you have like a stubborn one that you're trying to cover and i always don't put any product on my nose um because it gives it more of a natural look like you're not wearing makeup i like the natural nose kind of color to come through There's not too much of this concealer left so just doing a little light amount under the eyes You know what, I kind of want to just dip right into the eyeshadow. I'm just feeling it right now. So this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Cream Eyeshadow in number four, Timeless Taupe. Um, it's a nice soft kind of brown. A little bit more cooler tone than what I wanted here. Let me show you in the camera. It's a nice cream. It has like a thicker consistency, I would say, than um, my Revlon one. The color has like a denticle to it, oops definitely looked like more of a lighter brown in the store with more of like a warmth i don't know but now that i'm putting on my eye i feel like i definitely have the revlon one just like this so now i've got two just with the pencil brush just bring it to my lower lash line just to finish it off and bring it all together so for my brows i've been quite lazy with them i would say i don't know i've just been Liking a really, really natural brow. I'm gonna show you what I've been using, just two products, not like four, like sometimes that happens. So I'm just gonna take the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This stuff is amazing. It will hold my brows up like all day. Still one of my favorite brow gels. And it's very mess free compared to the Anastasia Brow Freeze, but honestly, it gives the results I like. It holds my brow hairs up, but it doesn't like press them up against my face, which I prefer. I like when my brows look a bit more fluffy and raised from my face, not like flat down with no dimension. So I'm gonna go in with my Kosas powder with my favorite Real Techniques brush. I wanna make a trip to London Drugs and check out what makeup they have. They're awesome for makeup. Um, they got great brushes too. Okay, today I think I'm gonna skip bronzer and then I'm just gonna go in with my Merit blush. Um, this is in terracotta. It has a lot of brown in it. So it warms up the face, but also gives a little bit of color. Um, so often on my natural days, I will just use this and I feel like I got the color that I need to warm up my face and brighten it at the same time. And like, honestly, it makes, a, it gives your skin a beautiful do too. So you could do this and skip highlight and bronzer. It's such a multi-purpose product. So if you're a person that likes very minimal makeup or you're looking for products that you can like multi-purpose with, this is amazing. So this is the Hourglass Luminous Light um, Highlighter. It's a beautiful natural glow. And I just wanted to try using this again because it's been a while. Ooh. 
So I did the clear brow gel um, and I just let the brow set a bit. And now I'm gonna go in with the Taupe Shape and Shade by MAC. This is my favorite brow pen. So I'm just gonna draw like the brow hairs just quickly. Um, it doesn't take too long. So you can't really tell that I have my brows filled in ideally. Okay, I'm just taking Costa Riche on the outer third of the eye. Um, just because it's a bit warmer, I think I'll just warm up the look a bit more. And then I'm also just going to take it in my tight line. Another good drugstore find that I'm really loving is the Revlon um, Super Fierce Big Bad Lash. It's really good. I have the waterproof one, but I've heard the regular one's really good too. I just only use waterproof mascara. This just gives lots of length and volume. I really like it and I like the brush. It's a good and simple brush that helps create volume. So my lashes are just not in a good like lash cycle right now they're just kind of all coming in right now so i'm going to take mac oak which is like a nice cool brown just contours the lips nicely I'm gonna take the Vesca lip oil. This is in Ginger Lily. It's like more, a little bit more of a cooler kind of, I would say like rose kind of pink. Oh, so nice. It's like a gel oil on the lips. It's very conditioning, which is all I really use. <laughs> so this is the finished makeup look. It's so simple and so natural. Um, so far, I really like the shadow. It's it's not like something wowing me too much. I was hoping for a little bit more of like a warm beige like my sweater, but it's not too bad. I think the formula will just be good and hopefully not crease. Um, but yeah, that's like kind of like a real time get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know, I'll see how I like this video and I'd love to hear your feedback as well. And maybe I'll do more of these um, or maybe I'll just stick to more of my um, official kind of camera setup. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up so I know. And also that would be awesome if you want to kind of follow me along on my videos and support my channel, um, definitely subscribe too. It's definitely really encouraging when I see my subscribe number count go up. Um, it definitely motivates me more to film and get out more content for you guys. See you guys in next week's video. Bye.